Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, check out what I just made. This right here is an origami fish right here. And yeah, and it's 3D right here. And yeah, and it's very simple to make, and I'm gonna show you how to fold it. Alright, ready, ready, set, here goes. Alright, so for this fish right here, I used a 6 inch square of kami. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna use a 7 inch square of kami. Okay. Let's begin white side up to make a purple fish with a white head. And fold in half, and you could go all the way across, but I'm just gonna make two crease marks. Alright, and then now fold this edge to the two crease marks. I mean, not, not turn over colored side up and fold this edge to the two crease marks. And this time you can fold it all the way across. Okay, and then now turn over and fold in half. I mean, we're not gonna fold in half, we're gonna divide this into thirds. So I, I, I had to restart this tutorial because um, when I filmed it last time, I, I accidentally folded the two sides to the middle like this. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to start the whole tutorial again. So, so hopefully I'll do it right this time. Okay, so fold up and we're gonna do thirds. So make sure that this is equal to that. So just eyeball it first. And then now, let's look on either side right here, and you just kind of bend this paper back right here, and just fiddle with the folds until the, until they align. So you need to make the points on the sides align. Alright. Like this, and then once you got it, I'm sticking out a little bit right there, so I'm just going to move that forward like that. And there you go, close enough is good. Alright. And then now fold this edge to this crease mark. And you can fold this all the way across. Alright, and now fold in half. Okay, unfold. And now comes the kind of tricky step. Not really though. <laughs> we're gonna open this pocket right here, like this, and we're gonna tuck this point inside there. So we're refolding this, but tucking the point into the pocket. Like this. Then okay, just kind of curl it in there. Like this. Should go in there easily. Like this. Alright. Then once you got it, make sure everything's nice and sharp. <laughs> Those crickets. Alright. Like this. So now we're going to start shaping it to taste. And this is how we're gonna make it into a fish. So, let's start by shaping the head first. So, you, you can airplane fold it. Like, I'm gonna zoom in. So you can airplane fold it if you want, like this. But actually, I'm gonna kind of airplane fold it like this. So it's a little bit. It's, it's kind of slanted. But it, just shape it to taste. Shape it however you want. This is all up to you now. All right. And yeah, the nice looking head right there. All right, now for the tail, uh, let's start this side up, and we're just gonna kind of bring these two points together, and just to make a light fold, probably about an inch right there, maybe a little bit less. And now we're gonna take this part, and this is also kind of to taste, but I'm gonna fold it right here, like this, so that this part right here is a square. Alright, like this. Make that nice and sharp. And now unfold that. And, uh, oh, and actually, one more thing. You, you could do the next step if you want, but, um, this is a raw edge right here, so I'm just gonna kinda eliminate that. Just fold this edge up just a tiny bit. Maybe a millimeter or so. Like that. Just like that. That's only if you want it to be a folded edge. Okay. And now, um, let's reverse fold on these two creases right here we made. Just kind of fold it in half like this, and reverse fold it. Like this. Alright, and now we're going to make a little pleat on both of these sides. And, don't, I'm not going to pleat them directly to the middle right here. So I'm going to lift this fold up, and I'm going to pleat it. Just about like that. It's taste. I'm actually doing thirds right there. 
Just estimate thirds. And same on this side. Alright, like this. Okay, and now let's make this edge kind of go down a little bit, so to do that. This is also kind of tricky. Not terribly bad though. We're gonna fold this up. God, this is small. Maybe I should have used 10 inch paper. <laughs> But hopefully you can see this. So we're gonna I'm gonna fold it up right over this edge right here. Alright. And then also we're gonna squash on the sides. Like this. And it doesn't need to be you don't need to be too clean about it. <laughs> and there we go. Alright, not great, but good enough. Okay. And now, um, this point right here, let's just fold it to one direction, like this. Either direction is fine, just fold it to one side like that. And that's what kind of locks it a little bit. Alright, and now it's kind of rounded off a little bit like this, to taste. Okay, like that, and there's the tail. All right. And now we're gonna make a, a curved fold to taste. So just about like that. Just make sure there's a straight line right here. And just make a curved fold to about there, to about like that. All right, get that nice curvature and repeat on this side. All right, like that. And once you did that, here is our fish complete. And yeah, I like how it's 3D. And if you'd like, you can draw an eye on it right here. You can draw an eye if you're an artist. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. Yep, swimming away. <laughs> so there you have it. And oh look, you got a buddy with him. <laughs> or they're gonna fight each other. <laughs> <Whoop. laughs> Alright, well I hope you guys were able to fold that. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's nice and simple. And it's not too hard to make. So yeah. Alright, make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys later.